Hello everybody and welcome back to the Wattpad Book Club. My name is Phoenix and once again I am joined with the lovely Kenzie on this Hello. magical adventure. <laughs> Hello, I am so happy to be back yet again. Yep, and uh, the wheel has been uh, has been spun, and it and it decided that we're returning to the the the, the best ship in Total yes. Drama <laughs> Island, Jeff and Bridget. <laughs> mhm. And I cannot wait to read because last time we found out some lore about Jeff, and that apparently he used to date Zoe, who apparently was a Zoe? hippie, and that yep. like she cheated on him with Mike, which I don't know why Mike, but. Yeah, and, then, and that's why he doesn't like hippies. And now he's going on yep. a date with Bridget now. Yep. I hope. Th- I think you said they go to a McDonald's. That's actually a really good first date. Yes, they met. it really is. They they like, met at a really nice cafe, and this boy's gonna take her out to McDonald's. <laughs> yep, I believe so. I'm I'm pretty sure that's what happens. Yeah, isn't I'm she? I'm not really sure though. But. Isn't she vegan though? Um, yeah, I think they, I think they order, like, the McFlurries, though, which I'm not even sure if those are vegan or not, but... No, I'm pretty sure that shit got milk in it. There's, I don't think there's a single product at McDonald's that's vegan. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, they could sure try to. Just make a salad. Yep, that's <laughs> true. Yep, that's true. Alright, but we are on chapter five right now. Uh, let me see where my phone is so we can flip this shit. All right. Do you want to be the the screen or the or the case? I'll be the screen. Okay. All right. It's screen. All right. Okie dokie. Jeff's POV. Jeff called Bridget. Her her crimson blonde hair covering covering her tan shoulders as she walked in a white summer dress. Wait. She was barefoot. <laughs> I think we're on oh, the what? wrong one. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, I think you're on, okay. you're on the one. It's like the IV one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Bridget POV. Gosh, I'm going to be late, I said, looking through my wardrobe for the per- quote-unquote perfect outfit. And, and, and by wardrobe, I mean plastic box with all my clothes in it. Bridge, I, Bridge, I thought you makeup. Oh, I bought you makeup, said Don, <laughs> com- coming in from the outside with Scott. Thanks, thanks, Don. Should should I wear should I wear more casual or for or more formal look? I asked. I thought Miss I hate all humans wouldn't be freaking out over a guy, unless Bridget likes him. Said Scott. <laughs> oh please, you can't you can't feel for someone over over the span for twelve hours. I said, pulling out a teal casual casual dress with a with a brown with a brown belt. Well, actually, I thought Moonbeam here was gorgeous when I first laid my eyes on her. Yes. Said the ginger. Gazing Dot. at the fucking blonde. Dot ship. <laughs> Dot. I hope the wheel spins and it lands on Dot for our next reading. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's gonna be shit. <laughs> it's yep. Be awful. We're gonna hate our lives. Yep. <laughs> Aw, thanks, Scotty. She responded, <laughs> giving him a quick hike on the cheek, causing him to blush. I rolled my eyes. Same here. Always so lovely. <laughs> Anyways, casual or formal, I asked, holding holding up a, a, a silk navy blue midnight dress and, and the teal one. Definitely the teal one, said Don, looking at the beautiful dress. Thanks, I'm, I'm, thanks. I'm gonna change, do makeup, then leave, I said. Walking to our small bathroom. Hey, Bridge, said said Jeff, making my head whip around. There he was, sitting there sexily. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> old, spice Fe- old Spice Fiji everywhere. I I sat there for a while, lo- lo- looking him up and down. Check- Checking me out, are we? He said, he said, breaking me out of my daze. Don't get cocky, I said. Fighting to keep a smile away as I walked in. Bridge, Bridge, we're over there. So, J- Jeff said, just said, pointing to a table with two people. Yeah, yeah, but people are already there, I responded. About that, about that, forgot to ask. You, you, forgot to ask. You don't want a double date, do you? He asked. Do I mind? Of course I do. I don't, I don't, 
I don't like people. But, but you get to spend time with them, and do I care? Obviously, <laughs> otherwise he wouldn't. Obviously, otherwise he wouldn't be here. I don't like him. Don't argue with me. Don't argue with me because I'm you. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, she's just, like arguing with herself in her head right now, and it's like oh, back yeah. and forth dialogue oh, yeah. in her head. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, meanwhile Jeff's like standing there, like, um, you gonna, you gonna right. say something? <laughs> Are you gonna say anything? <laughs> I I know everything. Now now just now just now just say yes so we can get on with this. Uh I uh I don't care really, I shrugged. Cool, he said, walking towards the towards the table. Aren't those the people who were making out in the cafe? I asked, <laughs> remembering the two viciously making out when I met Jeff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but behind their free but behind their free chill people, behind all the snooching. He said nervously, scratching the back of his, scratching the back of his neck. I smiled. He was kind of cute when he was nervous. Court, Courtney Duncan. This is Bridget. Bridget, Bridget Courtney Duncan. He said as I looked at the two. They, they were, they were a strange-looking couple. One was the perfect tan, and the other was a shade peachier than, than actual paper. <laughs> one, one was a punk. One was a prep looking one. You you that you could you could probably list many differences, but they were obviously very, very, very happy. Cool, said Duncan. Hello, said Courtney happily. Hey, hey, I res hey I responded quietly. I hate meeting new people. Same here. <laughs> or people in general. Same. Dude, Bridget is so relatable in this. I love it. Yeah, she's very us right now. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Animal animals, you animals, you just immediately, you just immediately create a bond with and and and, and can talk and to talk and to talk to them about practically anything. With with with, with people with, peop with people, you have to start. You, you have to start tall. Like, how's the weather? When obviously they know it's pointless. I agree. I I fucking hate small talk so much. Yeah, it's some stupid so, shit. So freaking stupid. <laughs> That's why you gotta get interesting with the small talk. You just gotta like throw random yeah. shit out there. You like so you That's like jazz true. and just, just fucking go from there. You like you like jazz exactly. <laughs> yep. Say <laughs> random shit. Get it going. <laughs> yep. Exactly. Hey, I like your necklace, Bridge," said Jeff, looking at my small, looking at my small surfboard pendant. You surf. Actually, yes. When I can get, at least, I said, smiling gently. Dude, Ed, me too. I like, I like airtime the best, he said, showing off his pearly wife. <laughs> Gosh, I love this. Really? I li really, I like barrel waves, I said. Got a nickname for you, new girl? Just, uh, got, got a nickname for you, new girl, said Duncan, coming in on the conversation. What? Asked me and Jeff in unison. Malibu, bro. <laughs> Spe speaking of there, me and Princess won an eight-person flight there. You, you two want to come? He said. I felt my heart stop. A free trip to Malibu? It had literally been years. I'm um, sure, I guess. I shrugged. I want a free trip to Malibu. What the fuck? I need to hang out with some new people. To <laughs> same. Y y same. Yeah. Yeah, let's just find some new people to hang out with so we can go on a trip, free trip to Malibu. Yeah, <laughs> I'm still waiting for, like, <laughs> I keep saying on my TikTok, it's, like, me waiting patiently for my best friend to reveal to me that they're a secret billionaire that's going to take care of me for the rest of right. my life. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh my gosh, I would love that. Me too. I want someone to pay awesome. my bills. <laughs> yes, Absolutely. Cool, and if you have any more friends, like 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 four, just bring them. The tickets will be no use unless you unless we have eight people. Pipe pipe pipes and Courtney happily. Well, I have three, I guess. I said. Cool. We'll just bring Lashana then. She's chill, said Jess. Okay, Lashana. okay, they said. As we waited in silence for a good minute. <laughs> Guys, we need to actually talk on a double date. How about how about asking questions? Said Courtney, breaking the silence. Ah, my babe is so smart. Sounds good. Sounds good. You two in? Asked Duncan, wrapping his arms around Courtney. Sure, we shrugged. Okay, I'll start. Where'd you go to high? Where'd you go to high school? What stereotype were you? I asked Courtney. I. 
I, I, okay. I went, I, I went to, I went to Ms. Coca High, and, 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 and I was the delinquent, and I was the delinquent, I, I was the delinquent, and I was a pretty damn good one, too. <laughs> going to, going to juvie, spray painting, screwing girls, the good, <laughs> screwing girls, the good time, said Duncan. Yeah, it's <laughs> a real good a thing to say to a friend of your girlfriend, dude. <laughs> right? That's how you get an ass beating. <laughs> Uh, that's such a Duncan thing for him to do. It, it that really is. That is like is. such a Duncan thing for him to do, though. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah. <laughs> if, you, if you want, I can start reading now. <laughs> oh, okay. Alright. <laughs> oh, please. And any of the others weren't as good as me, right? Said Corny, threatening him with her fist. <laughs> uh, of course, babe. He said nervously. I would be nervous <laughs> too if Courtney fucking threatened me. <laughs> Yes, She'd beat my ass in a second. <laughs> right. Good. And for that, I have a present for you tonight. Oh my god, why? <laughs> oh no. She said, seductively rubbing oh, up and god. down his shirt. Oh, no. <laughs> Man, this is a Wendy's. <laughs> exactly. What are you doing? <laughs> Suddenly, his eyes were filled with lust and he moved his hands up her chest. Oh, dude. Oh, god. This is a Wendy's. <laughs> Exactly. We are in Stop. public. <laughs> what are they doing? <laughs> he's a he's a very simple creature. <laughs> what can I say? Yep, he is. Yes, he definitely is. <laughs> Ahem, oh, cough oh. Jeff loudly, causing the two to stop. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Yes, thanks. <laughs> thank you for stopping that. <laughs> Anyways, oh. I also went to uh, Miss Soka Kai. Same with Courtney. I was the crazy party guy, and she was the bitchy prep A-type. Now, Bridge, said Jeff, rapidly hurrying to mine. I went to Wawanakwa High, and I guess I was the chill person. I don't really know, I said. Dude, as in the one in Masoka? Asked Jeff in curiosity. I nodded and realized something. Masoka High. We grew up in the same town? We said in unison. Wait, Malibu, did you know a guy named Alejandro? I can't believe they know Alejandro. <laughs> Wait, they- yeah, yeah! Same here! Ask like Duncan. I cringe at the name, making- making my- my gag reflex activate. He's my ex-boyfriend. Wow. <laughs> what? <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> you're- you're no. telling me that Bridget bagged Alejandro? <laughs> I don't wow. remember her doing that at all. What in the show? What? Damn. Whoa, you were the hot surfer chick from other from the other school he was always saying he was dating? I always thought he was kidding, said Corny, wide eyed. You guys dated for a while, said Duncan. Worst three months of my life, I groaned. Well, obviously I mean it's Al, bro. He was a complete asshole, said Jeff in a mini rage. Looks like someone's jealous, said Duncan, putting a- starting to put a sly smirk on his face. Really, dude? Jeff replied, turning- uh, starting to turn a little pink. I think it's blush, but I don't know. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Courtney and Duncan and then looked at each other, getting an evil smirk on their face. <laughs> Jeff and Bridget sitting in a tree. K-I-S-S-I-N-G. They say, causing God. me to laugh. <laughs> God, I remember that shit in elementary school. That's cringe. Same. Same. <laughs> I oh turned to gosh. Jeff to see his face is in his palms. But you can see, still see those. Wait. <laughs> but you can still, you could still see that those, those face was now a deep tomato red. <laughs> <laughs> God, my brain didn't want to function with this sentence. <laughs> I don't blame you. Oh, okay, guys, that's enough. I giggled. They just sat there laughing what <laughs> Jeff's head was still in his, in his sweaty palms. Okay, guys, sorry for the wait. Have you decided on what you'd like to order? Asked our waitress. But I could recognize that list from a mile away. Beth? Holy shit. <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> wow, there's so many characters. Holy shit. I mean, I guess there is a lot of characters in canon of Total Drama, but, like, I didn't expect them yeah. all to come out of the woodworks in this Wendy's. <laughs> <laughs> Me neither. 
She looked up from her glasses and then said, Bridget? Oh my goodness, it's been forever. Yeah, how are you? I said, smiling. Oh, good. It's nice to see you're obviously doing good, too. She smiled, looking at Jeff, who was raising his face from both hands. You two look pretty cute together. I felt a pink rush in my face as I started frantically waving my hands. No, no, it's not like that. We're just friends, I said, as a pit feeling filled my stomach, like the feeling of lying. Maybe because she knows she's into him. <laughs> exactly. Why do I feel like that? Because you're into him. <laughs> exactly. Like, admit it already. <laughs> Girl, the Nile is a river in Egypt, all right? I'm just saying. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, you would be a cute couple if you were together. Anyways, I had to get back to my job or I'm fired. What would you guys like? She said. She has a smile plastered on her face. Um, pumpkin spice cappuccino with extra whipped cream for me please said Courtney of course this fucking bitch likes pumpkin spice right <laughs> she's so basic that that's how basic she is yeah just coffee black maybe a little sugar and cream said Duncan arm draped over Courtney's shoulder I'll have the sand dollar special with vanilla bean with extra whipped cream and caramel on top I said same as her uh, Jeff <laughs> said poking my cheek I felt butterflies fly up in, inside my gut, and my face was heat as his thumb touched my skin to my face. He just touched you. Chill! <laughs> Back to the game now. Favorite color, said Courtney. Black, said Duncan. Purple and teal, said Courtney. The color of my eyes teal, or her dress teal? As Duncan is staring to smirk. Oh, starting to smirk. Eyes, said Courtney, starting to lean in. Mine's blue. <laughs> it's like he's like trying to make sure these guys don't just fornicate in a Wendy's right now. Right. He's like, oh yeah, that's great. Uh, mine's this, uh, Bridget. <laughs> <laughs> uh, baby blue or Rob Robin's egg? I've never heard. Hold on, I kind of want to look what? at the color. Robin's What's egg? Robin's egg? What the? Heck? What the f I know what baby blue <laughs> looks like. What's Robin's <laughs> egg? I, I have I, no idea. I hope when I look this up, it doesn't. Oh, it's a blue color. Well, oh. I want to see what color it is, though. Oh, it's like the. You know those little baby eggs? They're, yeah. They're, it's like those. It's like that color. Oh. Okay. So they named it Robin's Egg. That they're just oh, okay. so weird. Just just That's say a normal bl like a normal one. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I said That's quirking so up an eyebrow. Cool. Next one said Jeff. All right, I guess time has passed because there's three dots. Yeah. So you legitimately pants the poor guy just because you were dared? I asked, starting to laugh. Well, yeah, I'm not a wimp, and that Noah guy deserved it. What did Noah do? <laughs> exactly. He was a total smartass, said Jeff, folding his hands. That's why I dared you to do it, man. That guy's a dick, said Duncan. No, he's just sarcastic and smart, all right? Leave him alone. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Back off. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, the cafe closes in three minutes. How long have they been here? <laughs> right? Oh, my gosh. What the... How... When did they get here? At 12? Is that what they said? I don't know. I think so. Like, <laughs> gosh. I'm guessing they close at eight. So they've been here for eight hours. Oh, oh my shit. lord. <laughs> We should leave, said Courtney, calming her <laughs> laughter. Yeah, I'm gonna walk home, or at least to the nearby McDonald's, I guess. Home travels, I said, wa standing up. Let me walk with you, said Jeff, standing up. It's fine, it's only two blocks away, I said, smiling, waving off. Nah, bro, we can walk to the apartment. Besides, I want to walk with you, he said, opening his wallet and leaving a tip. Now, now that that's good. Not because he's, yeah. he he needs to, he wants to. He That's wants to, a good exactly. boy right there. <laughs> yep, exactly. Well, all right, I said, starting to leave. Bye, guys. Bye, responded Courtney and Duncan in unison, leaving a smile on my face. Usually, I don't like people, but I guess they were different, like Jeff. I don't think you're going to like him when you figure out was it there, dude. I feel like that's going to come up. <laughs> yeah, it is. It definitely is. I, to oh, be fair, no. like it, I, I can see it coming from a mile away. I've, I've seen it so many times in like yeah. fan fiction. Like you can see it. <laughs> yeah, definitely. 
So, they're interesting people, I said referring to the overly in love couple. Yeah, you could fucking say overly in love. <laughs> right. Yeah, I guess they are, he said, nervously laughing. Why are you so nervous, I asked. He stopped for a minute and looked into my eyes, and I... When I saw a clear emotion in his... Fear. <laughs> yep. Well, remember that one hippie girl I dated that I told you about? He said, starting to walk again. I simply nodded and waited for him to continue. I was just scared, I guess, that you'll be like her. I don't remember... I don't remember what it is to actually meet a cute, nice girl, he said. I blushed at him calling me cute and smiled. I don't think I've ever been the cheating type. Then again, I've never been the dating type. My looks on humans have, were changed by a relationship, too. I said, remembering him. Wow, I can't, I can't believe Alejandro was a dick. Right. I'm so surprised right now. You can hear it in my voice. <laughs> yep. How surprising. Wow, I can't believe he is not a nice person. Right? How yeah. dare he? Damn, this is coming out of left field. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Me neither. Really? He, he asked while I nodded. Well, I guess I should tell you my sap story later, I said as we entered the McDonald's parking lot. How romantic. <laughs> Right. Well, I can't... They wait? He said, looking at the three who were standing outside with their signs, protesting their mouths off. There's a tomorrow, and there's always a Malibu. Meet me here tomorrow at ten, and I'll tell you the story. Ten in the morning? <laughs> it's so early. Why so early? Damn. All right. I said, <laughs> giving him a wink and walking off before he, he could protest for his own reasons. I thought about what I I thought about what I told Don this morning about love and I immediately knew I lied. <laughs> Damn. That, wow. I, she's she's fallen hard. Yeah, she definitely is. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> yeah. Well, Yikes. It, it actually seems like Jeff actually likes her, but I don't know. I, I don't whatever. I don't know either. I don't know, either. <laughs> I don't know he could. <laughs> They're gonna be at ten in the morning. <laughs> Who the fuck meets up at ten in the morning? Besides, so like business meetings or work, you know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I never like talk to my friends. I'm like, yo, you want to meet in the uh, McDonald's parking lot at ten a.m.? Yeah. Right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Way too early. Yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Like... Uh, whatever. Gosh. <laughs> Jeff called Bridget. Her. Her Jeff called Bridget, her crimped blonde hair covering her tan shoulders, at, 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 as she as she walked in a white summer dress. She was barefoot and walking through a green grass prairie. prairie. Her her legs moving sexily. Oh. God. God. <laughs> as she shut it towards me. <laughs> Cush floors. I can't. Whoa, Bridget, you look gorgeous. I said, grabbing her hand as she smirked. <laughs> Why, thank you, she said, sho shoving me into the grass behind us. I I, I just smirked as she crawled on the top of me on... Wait, crawled on the top of me <laughs> on started <laughs> to kiss me. Her soft lips connected with my dry ones. <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah. What the hell am I reading? <laughs> We broke over as she just smirked as she breathed on my ear. <laughs> Wake up, Jeff, she whispered. What? I responded, wanting more kisses. Wake up, she just said, smirking and walking away. Wait, I said, reaching my arm out to grab her. Wake up, Jeff, screamed Duncan, starting to shake the bed as my eyes as my eyes open. Okay, that was a dream. Thank, Thank goodness. Thank God. Well, the first thought I had when she said wake up was that stupid thing. It was like, wake up. You've been in a coma. Well, it's like, wake up. The accident wasn't your fault kind of thing. Right. <laughs> I don't know why that might, that's where my brain went, but that, yeah. that's where it went. <laughs> yep. Whoa, dude. I'm awake, I said, rubbing my, rubbing my head. Good. Courtney made breakfast and she wants you to get some before it gets cold, he said. All right, but dude... I, I, but dude, I could have been eating it cold. It, I, I was dreaming good, I responded. 
I was streaming good. <laughs> I, I cannot. Oh my gosh. Cringe. <laughs> yes, absolute cringe. I agree. I, 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 I know you, I, 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 I know you, I know you were walking in your, in your sleep like, like bridge, like bridge, you look so sexy in the water. <laughs> it's working. I cannot with this. Oh my gosh. I felt my cheeks heat as I rolled my eyes. Just go. I'll eat breakfast soon. <laughs> I rolled out of bed and put on a green Hawaiian flower shirt. I also put my brown cowboy hat and used my, and my usual brown boots. Good morning, said Bridget, sipping some water. Good morning, Brit, I said, abruptly turning around when, when I saw it was her. Courtney sat there looking confused. You could have just said good morning. And who's Brie? Oh, Brie. Um, it's my new, it, um, it's, it's, it's my new thing, you know, like, bruh, but Brie, I said, laughing nervously. All right, then, she said, picking up her newspaper and taking another drink of water. I, I picked up my plate of pancakes and chowed down, devouring all three giant cakes that, that were left. I'm, I'm gonna go meet up with Bridge, I said, putting my, putting on my plate, <laughs> putting my plate in the sink. <laughs> Okay, just make sure you guys don't run into any wa any water, Duncan said, starting <laughs> to laugh. I rolled my eyes and left, going outside to my car and driving away. I I I I I, dr I, dr I drove down the street. I drove down the I drove down the street and saw Bridget sitting on the bench feeding pigeons. I rolled down my window. Hey, Bridget! Just then, Bridget's face changed into an old lady's. Do I know you? I just rolled I just rolled the window window back up and drove off. Today was definitely off. <laughs> Dude is like he's like <laughs> so hallucinating bad. right now. Yeah, he really is. <laughs> like, what kind of drugs have you took in? I think he needs to go on some drugs. Like the medication drugs. Medications, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's like the schizophrenia medication. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> I I then, I then stopped waiting for the spotlight to turn green. I, I looked to the other car besides me to see Bridget, smoking a cigarette. I blinked hard and her face changed into a punk girl's. The, the light turned green and I drove off. I tried to keep my eyes on the road because everywhere else I looked, I saw Bridget. I thought this shit only happened in kids' movies. I turned into the McDonald's parking lot and saw... And, and saw park right, parked right beside Bridget's trailer house, right, Bridget's trailer house truck thing. I rushed inside, making sure making sure not to look at anyone else, in, until my uh, until my eyes plopped on guess who? Bridget. Hey Jeff, she said, smiling brightly. Are you Bridget? I asked, walking to the <laughs> table. Her eyebrow quirked up as she said, "Yeah," in a confused tone. Good, I said. I said, popping down on the seat, popping down on the seat across from her and sighing of relief. Why she asked, starting to laugh. Be, be, because because I because I've just seen because I've just been seeing a lot of you lately. I said as I watched her, as I watched her face and turn in a little pink. Well, okay then, she said. You 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 you, you were going you were going to tell me your you were going to tell me your sap story today. I said. She nodded. I don't mind I don't mind bringing up the past because it made me who I am today, and I like myself. Like you too, I said, causing her to smile. God, God, she has a cute smile. <laughs> <laughs> well, before I tell you my sap story, you should take this money I'm about to give you and and, and get me a McFlurry. She she says sticking she says sticking her hand her hand into into her pocket of of white eco flint of her white eco friendly jacket. Or I just use the money my pa on my pocket and buy us both one. I said grabbing her arm while sticking my hand in my pocket. But she started to protest before I touched her soft lips with my index finger. <laughs> with my index finger. Nope, no, nope, no buts, I said, smirking at, smirking, smirking as her cheeks turned a little pink. I got up, ordered the two ice creams, and immediately sat, sat back down across from Bridget. I was looking out the window aimlessly, there, st st staring at the sky. Hey, Bridge, I ordered the stuff, I said. 
what watching her watching her hair wave across across her face as she turned. Do you really want to hear my story? She asked, eyes full of mystery. Well, I guess. Well, I guess. Did 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 did, did not did, did not just not want to bring not want to bring it up? I asked. She sighed. No, I just realized how stupid I was for dating him. He 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 ended up running off with another girl. She said. Same, except my girl ran off with a guy, I said. Or order three forty five, screamed the woman behind the counter behind the counter as she put her McFlurries in the count in the counter. You want me to you want me to start? Oh, oh yeah, sure. Yeah, Alright, let's see what we got. We're getting fucking McFlurries. <laughs> yep. There you are, two M M&M McFlurries, I said, handing her one. She smiled gingerly before putting a small scoop in her mouth. Alright, before I start, I want you not to ask questions or interrupt me while I tell you. Otherwise, I'll stop entirely. She said sternly. Got it? I simply nodded and let her talk. Thank you. I hate it when people interrupt me during shit. I agree. (laughs) So annoying. It all started in freshman year high school. I was new and just fresh up from... What the fuck does that say? Kokomo... I think it's Kokomo. Kokomo. Kokomo Kurkawa? Whatever this word is. (laughs) Yeah. I was kind of shy and had a huge passion for surfing and sea animals. I made friends during second year because I was just not sure if people would like me. Because living in Kokomo for two years gives you a serious tan and makes you darker than Courtney. Yeah. In the first year, I did Alejandro, which was a horrible way to start off the high school years. Anyways, I made friends with Dawn and a girl named Zoe. We all- Oh my- Wait. <laughs> all wait, right. Zoe used to date Jeff? Yeah, oh, well, we're getting her backstory. We're getting the Bridget Ooh. lore right now. <laughs> oh, da- oh, shoot. <laughs> About to get real? We all loved animals and decided to form a club for rescuing- animal rescue junior year a guy named mike joined us at the same time as dj did and i personally thought he was adorable it was obvious zoe and mike had a thing for each other but the same time she met mike she dated this guy at a different school she started oh my god she like witnessed this unfold that they were gonna fucking go together and like run off (laughs) oh damn 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 bridget shit zoe what the hell (laughs) right (laughs) <laughs> oh no 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 wow he's like freaking like he knows that his his, his oh, no. girl was best friends with his ex-girlfriend <laughs> <laughs> damn oh my gosh so mike asked me to prom that year because zoe was going with her boy uh, going to her boyfriend's prom and after that we just kind of got together after that he was really romantic and always played the beach boys on our dates and oh they were just n- nice i guess but we were the it couple sadly he was was my first kiss first actual date first everything his dad was rich nice that's a bonus <laughs> yeah <laughs> so that we, definitely is yeah so we traveled a lot but every time we did it was never just us he would always bring along zoe don and dj I thought it was gonna end right there, and it'd be like he always brings Zoe, and I'm like, wow, right? Holy shit. <laughs> so those were never really fun. Even cr- New Year's Eve, they shared a kiss right in front of me. Oh my god, that's horrible! New Year's Eve, when the when the ball drops, you're not gonna go kiss your girlfriend. You're gonna go kiss this right? other. Oh my god, you know what? You should have dumped him right there. <laughs> that's horrible. Yeah, exactly. Wow. I was starting to dislike Zoe because she already had a boyfriend who was supposed she was supposed to be crazy for, but she always flirted with mine. Wow. Oh my god. Boyfriend Zoe. stealer. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> after, wow. After we graduated, he got a job at a gas station while I started protesting against animal abuse and abuse against our environment with Don, Zoe, and DJ. But basically, Zoe never showed up and was always gone doing who knows what i went to the gas station one time to check on mike because it was our anniversary i caught them making out half naked in the storage room what the (laughs) fuck (laughs) i 
I wish I had face cam on. My 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 jaw is on the floor. No, I've never been shocked so much reading something. Wow, so they both get shafted. Yeah, their their oh own respected goodness. partners started dating each other and ran off into the sunset. Huh? Go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> She said, tears starting to fill her golden eyes. Bridget, Zoe was my girlfriend. I said, dead serious. She started to laugh as she rubbed the tears from my eyes. <laughs> yeah, right. What did she look like then? <laughs> Chocolate eyes, red hair, always with a flower in it. Skinny and always smelled like roses. I said, starting to remember her face. Her eyes widened suddenly and filled with more tears. I just moved over and hugged her while she cried. Oh. I'm Oh, okay. Well, I guess it really is like, wow, our partners were pieces of shit that ended up leaving us for each other. Damn. It all comes full circle. (laughs) Yep. I'm so sorry to- I'm so- wait, I'm sorry you had to see that. Zoe just told me she was in love with another man, I said, stroking her blonde locks. I was close enough to smelling her. Her scent was the ocean mixed with caramel and vanilla. Her hair was like silk as I patted her head as she just cried into my chest. Humans just never appreciate what's been giving to them, and they always want what they can't have. We are a horrible race, she sniffed. Shh, it's alright, I said, pushing her head gently further in my chest. I'm sorry for being so weak, she sniffled, raising her head from my chest. She I, gra- I just grabbed her head gently and put it back into my chest, and then I... S- Scooped her up right. We're in a McDonald's. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Just a reminder, we're in a McDonald's. I mean, I mean, weirder, weirder things have happened in a McDonald's, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Scooped her up right, so grabbed our McFlurries and headed to the trailer outside. Hey, Jeff, said DJ, waving his sign outside. Is Bridget all right? John just shushed him. She's sleeping in perfectly good arms, she said, smiling at me, then looked at Bridget. I looked down, and sure enough, the blonde was asleep in my arms. I never knew someone could fall asleep that quickly. I flashed on a smile. Wait, I flashed on a smile smile before entering the trailer. I saw a bed in, in the back of the trailer. I saw Bridget's belt for the first time I saw her in the dress she wore the last, the last night laying in, on the blue covers. I guess that's Bridget's. I smiled as I tucked her in, watching her belly move up and down as she breathed. She looked adorable while she was sleeping. <laughs> Good night, morning, I guess, do that. <laughs> so <Dude>. elegant. <laughs> right? Very. I said, before planting a kiss on her forehead. Romantic. <laughs> yep. <laughs> her nose twitched as she just rolled over, claiming the bed is hers. I walked out to see Scott, Don, and DJ outside, taking a break, I guess, and I walked to my baby car and drove to the apartment. Wow, didn't even say goodbye to them? Wow, you're like, alright, right, she's safe in there, bye. <laughs> Nothing. You're just like, okay, bye. <laughs> yeah, she fell asleep, I said. I guess all all of our girls are. She said, wait, I'm a little, oh, shit, I skipped subs, my bad, okay. Yo, her morally, said Duncan, carrying a sleeping corny bridal style. Yeah, she fell asleep, I said. I guess all of our girls are. She said, wait, she, I guess, I don't, whatever. <laughs> She's not my girl, I said, getting the lying feeling in my gut. Whatever, I'm gonna go put her to the bed, then I need to talk to you, he said, heading off to his and Courtney's room. I, I, I don't like it when people say, hold on, I got, like, I need to talk to you urgently, because it makes me think I did something and I'm about to get in trouble. <laughs> right. Especially at work. <laughs> yeah. I just threw my keys on the counter and put my McFlurry in the freezer. Okay, dude, what do you need to tell me? I said, acknowledging Duncan's footsteps on the tiles. There's something I've been thinking about, said Duncan, coming over to me. What? I asked, popping down on the stool. Remember, this is kind of a dare. Don't get attached, because right after she comes to Malibu with us, she's probably going to hit the road with her little hippie group, She, he said, opening the fridge and grabbing the milk. I mean, I guess he's right, but, like, 
I mean, right. something that's a dare could be more than a dare. It could be love. <laughs> exactly. It could be love. That's right. The whole reason I met Bridget was a dare set up by Duncan and Corny four days ago. How do you know she'll leave? I said, I said, sad remembering that she was a traveling hippie. Because, <laughs> dude, I already know what you're thinking it. She's a traveling hippie. Going around the country to spread the peace and love to the animals and nature word. It's in her job, she, he said. I wonder how much she gets paid to do that. Because they got a that fucking a trailer. Good... <laughs> that is a good question. <laughs> Bro, just get in bed with her in Malibu and you win a hundred bucks, man. I basically set you up for victory. Now think about stuff while I go to bed with my honey bunny, he said, putting, uh, patting my shoulders and heading down the hallway. I rest my hand on the table. I don't want a hundred bucks. I just want to be with Bridget. Because in four days, I have fallen in love with Bridget, the sexy, cute surfer, travel heavy. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, d oh, damn. I'm, like, seeing comments. Apparently, like, seven years ago, this person was like, please, please continue this. So, I'm so glad this didn't get discontinued at this point. Yes. I'm glad this was a finished book. Yes, I agree. Alright, I think this will be the last chapter we cover, so chapter six. Okay. Uh, Ooh, okay. Alright. Bridges point of view. I woke up in my bed, looking around, until my eyes spotted a McFlurry. I smiled as I grabbed it, watching, w watching, the, now, watching the now soupy ice cream swish in the cup. Look- Look who's awake, said DJ, coming into the trailer. Hey, DJ, I said, giving him a small smile. How, how was your nap, he asked, throwing his side on the bed. Eh, it could have been better, I said, getting out of my small bed. I looked over and grabbed my Malibu jacket when I remembered the trip. Oh my gosh, I need to tell you guys something, I said. Throw I, I said, I said, throwing the jacket on my bed. What? asked Don and Scott, who, who were just entering the trailer. Jeff and his friends invited all of us to go to Malibu with them. Isn't it great, I said. What? What, what, watching, watching their curious, watching their curious faces turn into surprised ones. Really, all of us? Don asked excitedly. Yeah, I said, feeling a smile come into my face. It, isn't that really expensive? Asked Scott. Nope, they got it free. I responded. Well, when, did, well, when does the plane leave? Asked DJ. Then my face, then my face contracted into one of literally no knowledge. <laughs> you, you, you. You don't you, you don't know, do you? said Scott, folding his arms. I'm I'm gonna find out, I said. But girl, you don't know where the boy lives, said DJ. He was right. He has been in my trailer tons of times. But I but but I don't know his phone number. One four three George Street. He George George Street George Street. He's he he's apartment four, said Don. We 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 looked at her with amazement. You can read orders for, you can read orders from this far? We all we all asked, causing her to laugh. No, sillies. He left his address on he left his he left his address on a paper for you. And besides, I can't read minds, only tell their emotions and feelings, she said. Oh, well well I guess I'll well I guess I'll go find George Street, I said, standing up. It, it it's the block down it's the block down from the diner, said said DJ. We all looked at him with a with a can you read minds look as he responded shaking his shaking his hand i mean shaking his head that that's where i found bunny man he said picking up it picking up the delicate creature and stroking his head oh. well, th well thanks then i i well thanks then i guess i'm off i said heading towards the door and waving goodbye i approached the apartment after going past pa past some someone's with um weird noises for jeff's building i started to has i started to to I started. I started to feel hesitant as my head reached to, as my head reached to the doorbell. What? What if he doesn't? What if he doesn't want to be bothered? He he gave you his address, so maybe he was just being nice since he since he knows where I live. Just ring the freaking doorbell already. I took a deep breath as my fingers leveled up with the doorbell. Right as I, right as I was about to ring it, Duncan swung open the door. We both jumped back, startled. Jesus Christ, Bridget, you scared me, he said, clutching his heart. Yeah, yeah, is Jeff here? I asked. Well, well, it's, it, it sort of is his apartment, he said, while, while I rolled my eyes. Whatever, I'll just go talk to him. Nice seeing you, I responded, giving him, 
a fist pump and walk and walking past the former punk. Jeff? I said walking around. You could tell the men lived there. The whole <laughs> sofa was messy and covered with clothes and pizza boxes. One recorder though was perfect neat with a coffee table in front of it with a newspaper, coasters, and a vase full of lilac. Must be Courtney's cr- corner. I can I can see it now, like a really nice chair with like all the nice stuff and then like all around it like a little barrier. It's a bunch of like trash. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I reached the hallway as I saw two bathrooms, one with Courtney and Duncan's clothes in a hamper, while the other was assorted with Jeff's cowboy hat and Hawaiian shirts. I don't know what came over me, but I entered the small glass tower and reached it for a shampoo. I opened it and took and I, I opened it and took in the amazement and the amazement sit of American crew. What is she doing? <laughs> what is she She's doing? She's sniffing this boy's shampoo bottle? Okay. That's so weird. Yeah, Court and Bridget, what the what the hell? <laughs> That's what weird. <laughs> and that's just randomly just going into your boyfriend's house and sniffing your shampoo. Yeah, I mean, the, she's they're not even an established couple. They're, they're just it's friends happened. right now. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, you know, as you do with your friends, you casually just walk into their bathroom and sniff for shampoo. <laughs> yeah, first thing I do when I go to a friend's house, I see what, uh, what body wash they use. <laughs> yeah. I gotta know the brand and then see if I fuck with them or not after <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> Smells good, doesn't it? Said, said a shirtless Jeff coming into the bathroom. <laughs> I got, I got so startled, I slipped backwards, dropping the shampoo in the process. <laughs> I suddenly felt a pair of, of muscular arms wrap around me, saving me from the fall. Whoa, thanks, I said as he lifted me off from the ground to, to safety. No prob, but we were doing but we were doing the smelling my shampoo do that? I asked with a smirk on on his making me turn red. I, I don't know. What were you doing letting me? I, I retorted, folding my arms and turning my head. He, he got close to me and breathed in my ear. Because I liked it. I don't like that. <laughs> oh no! What? I can't. Oh my gosh. I don't. I don't know how to feel about Jeff right now. <laughs> Me neither. Oh lord. Ooh, that was. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right. I felt like I was. I was gonna explode. Explode from embarrassment. He pulled away from my face and smirked. I just looked at him, my lip quivering as I pouted. What? Why does he have this effect on me? So, so what are you doing here, Dudette? He asked at, as my blush went down. Oh, I came to ask when the plane leaves for Malibu, I said. Oh yeah, next week, he said. Eh, eh, I screamed. Why, why didn't he inform, inform us about this earlier? I, is that all you came for? He asked while I nodded. Well, let me take, well, let me walk you back. It's dark out, he said. What? What? I came here at, at four o'clock, I said, looking out the window to see it was dark. Stars shining brightly. Oh, yeah. Daylight savings. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, you coming or not, said Jeff, putting on a hat. I nodded and followed him out the apartment. So why didn't you just call me? You, you know I left my phone number on the, on the paper, on paper, too, he said, causing me to gasp. What? I said. Yeah, didn't you check the paper, man? That said Jeff, causing me to blush. Dawn. I could mentally see her jumping around the paper in her hands, screaming, I'm the matchmaker! My thoughts were interrupted by Jeff's voice. Hey, Bridge, he said, hands in his pockets. What? I asked, looking at him turning, tur- looking at him turn his gaze to the sidewalk where he, where we were walking. When are you going to leave Vancouver? He, he asked, still looking at the ground. He usually, he, he, he usually leave after a week. But but then you but then you but then you've been so nice and invited and invited us to go to Malibu so we'll so we'll be staying extra I said and as Don would say I I felt his aura drop in one of sadness Aww. so so you'll be leaving right after the Malibu trip he asked his voice full of sadness I wanted to answer no I'll stay by your side for as long as possible but the truth has to be said most likely I responded my voice uneasy I I I. I, I don't I don't want you to go, he mumbled loud loud enough to hear. I don't either, I said, making his head shoot up. I looked at him, my eyes wide. 
As the blush came across my face, he moved closer and quartered me against the wall of of of, of an of an alley of an alley. I, I, I guess the wall of an alley by McDonald's. The then what? stay, he said simply. <laughs> but, why? Why in the alley of a McDonald's? <laughs> I don't know. Why? I don't know. <laughs> why is like, it always you're... circle back to McDonald's? <laughs> I, I don't even know. <laughs> All right, let me let me finish off this chapter. Give you give your voice a break. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> he moved his arms away from my sides, letting me free to go anytime I wanted. But we stayed there, looking into each other's eyes. <laughs> I eventually moved my face closer to his, breathing on his lips. I, I can't, I replied, backing my face away. Why, he asked. I have nowhere to stay. I have no job. I have no life, I said, shoving my hands into my pockets of my jacket. Stay with me. Work at the cafe. Hell, go to college with me. There's more to life than living on the road in a trailer, he said, pleased with his pleading in his eyes, making me chuckle. I mean, some people do do, like, the whole trailer life thing, so. I mean, that's true. Yeah, but that's more like traveling around and, like, but, like, that's you having, like, a shit ton of money and just spending it on travel. Yeah. And she's (laughs) poor. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) You've obviously never lived on the road, then, I said, pinching his cheeks. He then looked into my eyes and grabbed the, s- the small of my back, pulling me into a hug. I guess I failed to, pers- to persuade you, then, he said. I guess so, I said, returning the hug. But I'm not giving up yet, he said, pulling me even tighter, to the point that my stomach could feel his abs. Why not, I said, my head with the croak of his neck. Because I'm a stubborn dude, he said. I could feel his smile until we heard a sneeze. T- Damn it, Duncan! He sh- said the unmistakable voice of Scott. Language. Oh, I- wait. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that threw me the fuck off for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> for the voice what? of Scott. Language, said Don. Sorry, dude, I'm over to kittens, said Duncan. We uh-huh. let go of each other and followed the voices. Anger in their anger on our boys until we found them hiding behind a couple of trash cans. What? Spoken out the alley. <laughs> I guess so. What the... Dawn. What is going on? <laughs> Dawn, I said evilly, peeking behind the trash cans. Um, hey Bridge. How was your talk with Jeff? She said nervously, hiding behind Scott who had fear on his face. What's that in your hand, dude? Asked Jeff with pure anger. Psych- wait, psycho is- uh, God damn it. Evil, psych- psychoticness and evil in his eye. Duncan gulped. Nothing important, man, he said, waving it off. Tr- while trying to hide the camera behind his back. What? <laughs> Were you filming us? I said as they <laughs> sweat dropped and gulped. Uh, of course not, they said, waving furiously. I'm not sure you're telling the truth, dudes, said Jeff. They gulped and left off in a short scream. Alright, that was weird. <laughs> that was so random. I was like, what was going what is going on? <laughs> Alright, well time to get <laughs> Thanks for yeah. walking me home, Jeff, I smiled, <laughs> taking Don and Scott by the collars of the shirts while they rubbed the pumps on their heads. We beat them up. <laughs> <laughs> No problem, do that. Meet me in the park tomorrow? He asked while holding Duncan by the collar of his shirt. We just. We just beating up bitches left and right. Pretty much. <laughs> Changing things up? I said while he smirked. Can we just go inside? Complained. Oh yeah, sorry. Can we just go inside? Complained Scott while I let them go. Whatever, I said as they rushed to the door. Can I get the groceries? Can I. Wait, can I get the groceries I got for Princess then? Pleaded Duncan. Give me the camera first, dude, said Jeff, holding out his hand. Duncan groaned as he grabbed the small digital camera from the back of his pocket and placed it in Jeff's palm. Jeff smiled and let go of the punk, letting him scurry away. Promise me you'll delete that video, I said, smiling. No worry, I've already lived it, he said, making me chuckle. Yeah, I said. I'll pick you up at noon, go to the park, he said, making me nod. 
Why always noon? I said. Lunch breaks are an hour and thirty minutes, then back to class, he said. Oh, okay then, I said, walking closer to him. I pressed my lips on his cheeks and the blush backed away. Thanks, see you tomorrow, I said, rushing to the door of the trailer. He's really one stubborn dude. <laughs> I like how the author even put, like, it kind of got a little sexual, I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, Malibu's coming up. And yep. apparently they got more books that are told drama related. Yep. What a fun time this is. <laughs> For sure. Alright, so so what did you think? I, I'm personally, I'm loving this. Honestly, same. <laughs> the, it's so funny. Yeah, it's a little oh, random with the yeah. with the characters coming in now, but I mean, pretty decent read. I can't wait to see Hon- what happens in yeah. Malibu. <laughs> mm-hmm. I can't believe that there's there's lore that connects Bridget to Zoe. <laughs> right. And apparently, she did Al. I I love that they're bringing in characters. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's it was nice to hear Noah's name mentioned. Because I, I, yeah. I, I like right. Noah. Yeah. So, I don't know. We'll, we'll see what this book brings us. But uh, yep. if, if you would like to read this book, I will have a link down below. And uh, now it's time for everyone's favorite segment is the Wheel of Names, mainly Total Drama Ships, where we see uh, how screwy we are the next recording session. <laughs> Yeehaw! Okay, there it is. All right, so... All right, uh, there we go. As long as it doesn't land on wouldn't it be nice, we will do whatever it says. <laughs> Hopefully it yes. lands on the Scott and Don one. I think that would be really funny. <laughs> All right, let's spin I it. I do think that one will be interesting. Honestly. Yeah. But let's see. Uh, oh, okay. More Noah X Cody, I guess. Yep. We we live in this shit. Learning to love you. Well, <laughs> I I mean, I do really love that uh, Noah X Cody book, so I do not mind reading that again. That that one's really Honestly, good. Honestly, same. Yeah. It is really good. And uh, it, that won't be the end of it, because apparently there's a sequel book. Yep. Yep, so even more content. We're going to ride Let's this shit out. Let's <laughs> go. Yes, Absolutely. Alrighty, well, I guess uh, that's that'll do it. So, my name's Phoenix. This is Kenzie, and I guess we'll see you guys next time for some uh, no co. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. Bye. Bye.